Hello, thanks for joining me. It is a lovely late winter day. Almost the middle of March. We have some snow. And I am out skiing on the lake in the background there. And it's just above freezing, 33 degrees Fahrenheit. And the spring snow is holding up pretty well. Um, there's about five inches of snow out along this southern edge um, in the shade of the glacial till that's there, the ridge line um, is left that pretty shaded so there's about five inches which is a little thick for skating but then on the northern edge of the lake there's about a half an inch of snow cover which is just perfect so some pretty fun spring skiing late winter, early spring. Anyway, it is spring or approaching spring because back in this corner of this lake, which you can't see, there's a spring creek that feeds it or feeds into it that never freezes. And there's 10 or 12 Canada geese on the water, the open water there. Behind me in the back there's a little island. There were a pair of sandhill cranes which were quite upset that I was out skiing this morning. And then off to along the southern edge there, there's a little marshy area where the red-winged blackbirds have already occupied for the year. They were scolding me as I came through. And then there's a piney area with some oaks surrounding it. And there were Vireo singing in that this morning. Now the ever-present crow is cawing in the background there. And perhaps you can hear the water dripping off the uh, roof of the picnic shelter I'm sitting in. Beautiful day. On this beautiful day, I am smoking Sure, that's not showing up. A Fallon. This is out of the Duke line. It's out of the shape 61. Pretty pipe. And in this Fallon, I am smoking some Samuel Gawith. Perfection tobacco. Well, I wasn't going to smoke this, but it arrived uh, 
and the tin itself. <laughs> there you go, the reflection was unsealed, it's pretty beaten up. So it's the first Samuel Gawith, Gawith tobacco that I've gotten that's been the perfect moisture consistency. So I'm not sure how long the tin had been open before it was shipped, but it was more than the three days it took to get to me. And I tell you what, I'm glad perfection Glad Perfection doesn't get the high ratings that other Samuel Gawith tobaccos get because I can usually get it. It's usually in stock somewhere. And while it's probably not the perfect tobacco for everyone, it's pretty nice. It's mild English. Supposedly with a little bit of a, excuse me, with vanilla topping. But I don't get the vanilla topping. Um, I think if anything, it's, it smooths out the tobacco, makes it, makes it a very nice smoke. Anyway, when you open the tin, you get smoky Latakia smell or Latakia smell. A little bit of sourness from the Orientals, but it's primarily Virginia. There's uh, bright Virginias and then there's some darker Virginias in there. And when you smoke it, you get a, you get the Virginia taste. Um, but then you also get a little sourness from the Orientals and definite smokiness from the Latakia. But there's nothing harsh at all. It's a, it's a beautiful blend, very smooth. And the vanilla, you know, I, I've had uh, several tins of it. I've never had a strong vanilla aroma or taste that some some people claim that exists in this tobacco. Um, for me, it's, it's always been a very light application of vanilla. Once in a great while, I get the impression that I can taste the vanilla, but for the most part, I don't. I don't pick it up. I think it just does a, a nice job of blending the tobaccos together. If that makes sense. So that's it for today. I hope you are enjoying the last days of winter. At least for here, nothing has started to green yet. But that'll come soon enough. And there's still some snow to play on. So, life is good. Hope all is well with you. Take care. And perhaps I shall see you again.